Hi everybody, it's me again, Charles Norman for Sports Solutions LLC. We are the creators of Athletic SOS, and it is a software technology that allows you, if you're trying to get an athletic scholarship, um, we use your uh, academic, your athletic choice of a sport, the location you want to be, your test scores from ACT and SATs, and um, the level you can participate. And we allow you to accumulate a list that you can use to uh, do some research and find out all the schools that you academically qualify to attend to that have your sport at your level. And you'll see that list and you can go do a little bit more research. And so one of the things I want to talk to you guys about today is curiosity. And um, earlier in the week, and you'll see there's another video I put out and I apologize, I was really tired after that. We had just been up north and had to get back down here and be at an event at 5 a.m. and I was exhausted. But um, I made a video showing that we were at the uh, CIF um, Southern Section uh, Athletic Administration show. And we had uh, a booth there, we were doing an exhibit, we were showing the software, and we were giving the software to the high schools at no cost if they visit our booth. And um, it was really, really interesting to me that um, there were over 600 people there, right? Uh, there's uh, principals, there's athletic directors, there are coaches there, there are even uh, the athletic trainers were there. And so everyone that's involved in the Southern Section of California uh, that were from the high school level they were at this event and I don't think we had more than maybe 35 people visit our event, our booth. And that could be a reflection on our booth. I won't, I won't say that's not it or maybe our presentation. And then out of those 35, we only signed up five schools. Now we gave a bunch of the, uh, like I give you guys a code every single time if you don't want to listen to the rest of this message. I always give you guys a code and I give you instructions on how to use that code. And also there is a link down that'll show you what Athletic SOS is and kind of give you a one minute overview of what it is to see if you're interested in it uh, down below. But I give you guys that at absolutely no cost. You guys can use our software at no cost. Our goal is to build our membership, obviously, but also not to miss out on anybody. One of the things I don't like is every single year uh, we have the software and we go around and we're making some great connections and we're getting this in the hand of a lot of kids but I can get it in with more kids on my own. I will let you guys use the software. That is why I built the software. That's why we created it so that it can get used. And I don't want to miss out on the 2023, 2022, 2023 kids and have you guys miss out on athletic scholarship opportunities because you didn't know about it or you couldn't find it or something else happened. But anyways, to get back to uh, what I was talking about, um, one of the things I noticed was people were visiting. So they had this big giant hall and everybody would come in and they had breakfast and they had lunch for them, and they're all in the hall together, and all of these vendors are on the sides, right? And people would stay in their little group, and they would look over at all the vendor things, but they wouldn't leave their group to go and see what was going on because it sets you apart from your group. And so what I'm trying to do for you guys is to learn how to be more curious about what's going on around you and be okay as an individual with saying, hey, you know what? I'm with these people that I'm sitting with every single day. Um, we, we do a lot. And yeah, I don't want to necessarily uh, set myself apart. And, and I know people don't like to do that. But at the very least, you're at the venue. Go and look around and see. You're not gonna, No one's going to do anything to you. So stretch out a little bit and be a little bit more curious about what's going around because there could be some great things and great opportunities for you that you're going to miss out. And so I want to segue from that into using Athletic SOS. So you're trying to get an athletic scholarship. You've got some people that are looking at you that they recognize your talent, right? You're getting some letters in the mail and people are telling you how great you are. And you maybe you're getting some phone calls from people or maybe you went to a camp or a showcase or a viewing event and you got all these raves and you made the all-star team or and you were first team all league and all these great things are happening for you, which is, which is wonderful. But what you want to do is to set yourself apart from everyone else is you want to have some options that they don't even know exist. And that's where Athletic SOS, I think, really does its biggest piece of work for you. So you're going to be able to go in, take this piece of software, put in your information, and by knowing all of your options and opportunities, um, you're going to be able to uh, do a little bit more. Um, you're going to be able to take some discernment, which is uh, assessing a situation and seeing if it fits where you're trying to be in your life. And remember, that's a big thing for us is we want you to go to college, get a chance to play, but be in an environment that you want to be into that's going to put you where you want to be after college. Okay, so those are all the little pieces that we want you to do that no one else is doing. Everybody else is taking what's given to them. Yes, they got a chance to go to that event. Yes, they get to have breakfast and to get away from work for the day, which I really think that was a lot of uh, the reason a lot of people were there. But 
if they would have gotten up, there were some great, great vendors there. If they would have gotten up and walked around, they could have been able to go back to their school and later thing and said, hey, you know, I saw this thing here. You know, I think we might want to look into it and maybe do some further research on it to see if it made sense for them. But a lot of people just stayed in their little their little pocket and they never did that. So I want you guys to do the same thing with that Athletic SOS. It doesn't cost you anything to use the software. I get it. But you're going to have to start using discernment now. So you have to make a decision. Um, go back and look at some of my other videos. See if I'm consistent in what I'm saying to you guys. Because you're going to have to make a decision. Do I go ahead and start playing around in this software and something happens on the back end where now they've got my information, they've got my email address, they know my name. Are they going to start selling my information to somebody? Is somebody going to start calling me? Is I get it. Everybody's always worried. We're not going to do any of that stuff. We want you to use the software because we want you to tell other people about it so that we can get it in the hands of everybody that's trying to do something special with their life. And for the adults uh, that are watching this that are not trying to get athletic scholarships, maybe trying to get it for your parents. I want you guys to do the same thing. I want you guys to start looking around in your area, your, your uh, area of the country. What is going on in the world where you can go pay maybe $10, $20 and go to an event or association or an expo or, or a conference or something where you can say, hey, you know what? I was kind of interested in this or I don't know that much about this, but I'm going to go. I'm just going to go walk around and just stop at a few of the booths and look at some of the exhibitors and go to a couple of the uh, uh, seminars and just sit and listen for a little while. You don't, you're not going to lose anything on that, but you may discover something that piques your interest. I don't know too many people that are doing the thing that they love to do in their life and they're getting paid for it. And you don't want to be in a position where almost everything that you do is reliant on a set of people or, or just a small group of uh uh, of people that somebody's paying your salary and that's it if they stop paying your salary you're in trouble you want to try to think okay what else can we do and especially because you guys have these athletes in your life and you're realizing that that sets them apart a little bit from everybody else and they're special in a certain way so you should uh, think in terms of okay what can we do with this for them to get their life on set but what about our families let's sit around and talk about what we can do um, one of the things I am seeing and I saw at this event the economy is scaring everybody right now so this is 2020 2022 everybody's getting a little bit uh frightened a lot of the uh, organizations and groups that we're working with and some of the ones we were going to partner with and some of the ones that um i know about that the money's drying up right the funding's drying up for them and then they're going to have to pivot and figure another way and we sit around and we talk about this now we haven't taken on any funding so right now we're in pretty good shape and we're going to try to grow our market share but I can see things slowing down, but we anticipated this coming up. And that's the other thing I want you guys to be able to do. Anticipate what's happening right now. Don't be afraid. Look at it as an opportunity because that's how we're looking at it right now. We're going to grow and we're going to make sure that anybody that wants to go and get an athletic scholarship, any other company that's in our field in the youth sports industry that wants to work with us, we're going to work with them. We're figuring it out. But one of the things we're doing, and I talked about discernment before, we're only working with people that A, are already doing something, B, the people have good character. Like I can sit in a room and have discernment. I can look across the room and there's some people that are great at what they do and they probably would be a benefit to us, but is it worth it? And I have to make those decisions on behalf of our company. And so I'm doing that too. And you guys can do the same thing. Get with some people that are like-minded people that want to move forward, that want to do some things in their lives and start working with them and saying, okay, here's what we have. And we know you have that. Let's work together and figure out if we can, um, Make something happen for both of us. You may get burned every now and then, but that's okay. Try to get, if you're going to get burned, try to get burned early. This is something my dad taught me. He goes, it's a small price to pay early to find out that someone would have gotten you bigger later on. And so you don't go into the world worried about every little thing. You try to do your best at discernment, and sometimes you're going to get burned. But you're going to learn something in the process. And if you can surround, and I talked about this in the previous video um, when I was at that event, one of the greatest things you can do if you get around other great good people is that the people that are around them and the other people that are around you that you've decided to put in your your world um, they're going to be able to help each other even if you're not involved in it they're going to be able to help each other that's why it's so so important that you put yourself around just really good people in life and don't have to get rid of everybody that's sort of negative i hear that a lot you know get rid of those people that are dragging you down in your life yeah you don't want to be around them a lot but sometimes it's family and sometimes it's it's well we'll say friends right? And these are people who've been around a long time. You don't have to throw everybody out of your life for you to move forward. You just got to go grow your, your, your circle bigger in the areas that you want to be. And you want to get just good people. There's just so many of them in the world. And I think people miss out on that because they stay in their little cocoon. 
their little small world and they don't venture out because they're scared of getting burned on something or somebody taking advantage of them and things like that. That's not going to happen most of the time because the other people that are good people don't say anything. And this is one of the things I get on the group that I'm working with. I go, I never would have met you guys or, or ladies if we hadn't, um, if I hadn't reached out or they hadn't reached out and we all do it very cautiously, but you have to do it. So anyway, so I know I'm kind of getting off track there. So for you as the student athlete, I want you guys to take athletic SOS. I want you to go in there and start finding those schools and then dig deeper. We hit that detail button that's inside next to the school that you're curious about and then go deep into that school. Do they have your major? What kind of environment is it in? Is it some place I would want to go to even if I wasn't going to play sports? Am I going to get an opportunity to play early? Do they let the kids play early? Can I watch some videos of their team playing? Because they're out there. They're probably on their site. Those are the things that we want you to start doing. And you're going to learn how to do that and go, yeah, this doesn't kind of fit me. This one does, though. And I've never heard of this school, but I'm going to look into this a little bit more. Let me do a reach out. Let me have my high school coach or my travel ball coach reach out on my behalf. I would be interested in going to this school. And you start building your own list. But what you're building on top of that, which is even more important, is your ability to let your curiosity run a little bit. And that's going to benefit you so much later on in life. But on top of curiosity, because we've heard curiosity kills the cat, right? Your discernment is going to go along with that. And you're going to grow that. You're going to be able to look at little bitty things that say, yeah, you know what? This isn't really for me. Or, um, yeah, I am really interested in this. This kind of fits what I'm, I'm trying to do because I've done a little bit of research and that's going to go a long way. Curiosity and discernment. You put those two together and you're going to have a wonderful, exciting and, and exceptional life. All right, guys, as always, best of luck to you in all your endeavors, anything you're trying to do. And if you're trying to get an athletic scholarship, we're here to help you. Down below, the code, the instructions for how to use the code and a brief video showing you what Athletic SOS is and how it kind of works. And please take advantage of it. Use it. That's why we designed it and built it and developed it. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.